uh, evangel for her junior year. So we're excited for her, and God put all this together. Yes, and, uh, he did. Really, he has, he did. and so she's needing to make a little bit yeah. more money to yeah. be able to get there. So whatever you could do to help, that'd be great. She's well, sure I also, I also, <laughs> I also want to just encourage you this morning to uh, remember to give up your tithes and offerings to the work of the Lord um, and be faithful in that. And uh, next Sunday is the 31st of December, so it's the last Sunday of the year. So I will be pre uh, preparing a message to talk about just kind of the future and give some ideas of what the Lord's been speaking to my heart concerning the future of our, of our, of our church family here and just some personal things. Um, and I'll probably share a little bit more about that um, in the month of January as well. But I'm just glad you're here today. Yeah. Um, and I'm just glad that uh, we can be together in the house of the Lord. Amen. And the birth of our Savior oh. is like no other. Amen. Amen. Like no other. Amen. Yes. The birth of our Savior is like no other. Mm -hmm. Amen. No other person in history came into this world Amen. as Jesus Christ did. Amen. No other person in history. Amen. Before... Since or after. Amen. There never will be another person like Jesus. Right. There will never will be Amen. another Savior. Yeah. Huh? There Amen. never will be another Savior. No matter what you hear in the media, no matter what you see on Facebook, right. no matter what, you know, Jesus warned us. The Apostle Paul warned us there's going to be false messiahs, yes. false Christ. Yes. They're going to rise up and tell us, I'm the dude. I'm the man. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I can do this and I can do that. The end times are coming. The end yeah. times are happening, right? Yes. And the Antichrist is going to rise up yes. in a very powerful way. And he's going to say, I'm the Messiah. Uh -huh. Jesus said, don't believe him. Yeah. There's only one. Yeah. He's already in heaven right now, inter making intercession for us yeah. as his chosen yeah. people. That's right, right. And, and, and so this morning, I wanted to just share this word with you concerning the fact that, that we celebrate his birth. And it's like no other birth. Yeah. Oh, and he is like no other person that's ever walked yeah. the face of this planet. Yeah. For us and for you and for me. And, and so here's the picture right here. What does this look like here, Dr. Toll? It's a hospital room. It's a hospital room. Not just your average hospital room. This is a delivery room. What does a different delivery room look like in a hospital? Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy, right? A nice comfortable bed with stirrups and handles, suction and oxygen receptacles, infant resuscitation equipment, overhead lights, birthing mirror, IV pole, blood pressure equipment, fetal monitor, and if you're fortunate enough, a sits bath. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. I'll explain it to you later. Yeah, I'll explain that to you later. That's a little TMI for me this morning. <laughs> get in trouble on that one. And also, there's going to be a delivery nurse. Of course, there's going to be a doctor or a midwife, right? Your spouse or friend is going to coach you and help you along. Talk about care and talk about great provision, right? Amen. And I just want to say that I was a part of all three of our daughters' birth, births. Uh, and I actually got to deliver Sarah. And that was absolutely incredible. We had a midwife. She coached me through it. I got all the scrubs on, everything, the gloves, the whole bit. And all I had to do was catch her. <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was just an awesome experience for me. There's nothing, there's nothing like being able to see your child come into right. this come into this world. Yes, that's right. You know, it's just Amen. it's just precious. It's beautiful. And, and I know some of you maybe back had your children back in the day when they didn't allow that to happen, but for me it was just an incredible experience. Well what about our Lord? I don't think there were the comforts as described right here, right? No. Pretty sanitary, pretty clean. There was much danger. There was much controversy surrounding his birth. He had to take an emergency trip to Egypt because King Herod wanted to kill him. Mary became pregnant before she was married. And Joseph, because she was his betrothed, contemplated divorcing her, getting rid of her. But an angel of the Lord came an angel of the Lord. God came through yes. with his promise that Isaiah foretold. Was that an angel, angel, or Jesus? Gabriel, the angel Gabriel. God had a plan in spite of what looked like an impossible, say that with me, impossible situation. God had a plan. 
God has a plan for your life. God has yes. a plan for my yes. life. Yes. And when difficulties are looking at us straight in the face, when situations seem impossible, remember, with God, all things are possible. I know some of you have decisions that you're, that you're working on making and, and, and situations that you're dealing with and troubles that you're going through and trials. And, and I know this week we've had several with car issues. Ah! Uh, yeah, it's just annoying. And some of us have physical issues. And I got a physical issue with my knee right here. I'm going to have to go see the doctor, Dad gummit. I'm not looking forward to it. But you know, God is still on the throne. Right? Yes, he is. And his promises are true. And his promises are real. And I want you to think about that this morning. Think about 2017 and how God has come through for you. Amen. Amen. When you pray, He's answered those prayers. Mm -hmm. Right? And even when you haven't prayed, He's answered yeah. those prayers. Huh? Yes. And that's the kind of Lord that we serve. And that's the one we need to, we need to praise this morning. So here's Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Can you turn these lights off for me, Pam? Just so we can see a little bit better. Mm -hmm. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Four points I want to share with you quickly this morning. Number one, Mary gave birth. Amen. Mary gave birth. Yes, she did. Yeah. This wasn't a hoax or a fictitious story that someone made up. Proof is in the pudding. It's true. Mary gave birth to our Savior. The prophet Isaiah foretold of His coming in Isaiah 7.14. And some 700 years before it, it happened, it came to pass. And right now, folks, I want to tell you something. You can go to Israel right now and see the very site that is believed to be the place, the cave where our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world. And there it is right there. Oops, I'm a little ahead of myself. Let me go back. Right there. It's kind of hard to see. That's why I want to turn those lights off, but it's a little hard to see. But right here, there's a bunch of candles up here. And over this sits a, sits a table or a, a pretty fancy, it's like, actually it's a slab. This is in the church in Bethlehem. Uh, a church of the Holy Nativity is called. You walk in and everybody lines in and you come in and you can actually bend down and look into this and see this place where they believe our Lord Jesus Christ was actually born. Of course, the church is over the whole thing, just like with the place where he was crucified as well. So who was this Jesus? Who was this dude? Who was this man? Who was this guy? He was Emmanuel. God with us who came in a very, very simple way. 